Okay, so we just need to finish up a few thoughts that we had from uh, Lecture 6D last time. And uh, we filled up a page and uh, we ran out of time. And uh, so it was a bad deal all around. But we're back at it. Uh, way back down on this extremely, extremely busy page, we ended up with V2F equals 2 fifteenths of 18, so we eventually, uh, after I ran out of time and I looked up and I realized we were out of time, we ended up with V2F is equal to 2.4 meters per second. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, extend this for just a second and take a couple of results off of this. One result that we had was V1F is equal to 3 meters per second minus 3 halves V2F and then I want to copy this chart out here M1 V1I V2I M2 V2I I'm sorry that's this is V1F V2I, V2F. Okay, and we had 2 kilograms, 3 meters per second. Don't know that yet. This is 3 kilograms. Uh, this is 0 meters per second. And then finally, one of the things that we found from the previous that was 2.4 meters per second and now what we're going to do is we are going to go and just plug in very simple 3 meters per second minus 3 halves of 2.4 meters per second and so this is going to be V1F is going to be equal to 3 meters per second minus 3.6 meters per second. So V1F is going to equal negative 0 0.6 meters per second. Uh, okay, right there. So if we look at it, we have. 3 kilogram block has 0 meter per second that's sitting there and we're going to call this before and we have a 2 kilogram block that's going in at 3 meters per second and so then my after picture afterwards I have my 3 kilogram block it is now going to be moving this way at 2.4 meters per second and then my 2 kilogram block is going to strike it and bounce off and it's going to be heading back that way at um, what did I just say? I just said negative 0 0.6 meters per second. So this is after. For the collision, after the collision. Okay, and so then the next thing that we're going to do in the next series, we're probably going to take uh, at least two videos to solve what happens if that is not 0 meters per second. So two or three videos to solve another one of these. These get long, I understand that, but uh, I feel that they're important enough that I want to spend time on them. Okay, back in a second.